I think it's special your your home opener. I always think it's special. Um, you think about you know we've done it a number of times, but you still always look forward to it, um, no matter what year it is. Fans have always been very good to Jeter. How do you think they'll react today in his final opening day? I, I, I think it'll be a special day. Uh, I, I think they understand the magnitude of today and what he's meant to the Yankees, and I think it'll be um, quite a long-standing ovation. And what do you think that moment will be like when the core four are on the field again? Oh, I, I think they're all going to enjoy it. I think there'll be a lot of smiles, a lot of laughs, and um, they'll recall a lot of wonderful times that they spent together. Wally. Joe, lineup question. Yesterday you said that um, Ellsbury, who bat third on Dave's Beltran, didn't play, and today they're both in the lineup, and Ellsbury's batting third. What's, well, what's the I, thinking? Well, <laughs> I didn't necessarily tell you a lie there. I just said, <laughs> <laughs> um, just we liked what we saw yesterday, um, and we think, you know, we like Guardy at, at the top of the order as well. Um, it just gives us some options, and without Tex in the lineup, you know, we, we've changed a little bit. Bruce, can you just pass it back, Wally? Joe, what has it been like to play with and to manage Jeter through all these opening days? Enjoyable, extremely enjoyable. Uh, watching him as a young kid and, and the way he played the game and always had so much fun and uh, was always, um, you know, he's always been a guy that kept a clubhouse loose with some of his antics and uh, just really good to be around. Um, he's always played the game the right way. And it's always been about winning. It's never been about him. And, and that's what you want from players. He understands the meaning of team and the meaning of championships. Bill, can you pass it over? Absolutely. Sweeney, behind you. Joe, uh, Derek just talks about wanting to look forward to the season and not focusing on any of this stuff. Is there any particular element of What's surrounding him that you're interested to see this year, like the the ceremonial stuff or anything like that? Is there something that that interests you? I think you're, you know, I'm curious how he's going to handle it. Um, it being his last year, and and you know how sentimental he gets about certain things, uh, something like today or. The last time in a city, possibly. I'm always curious how he's going to handle that. And if he'll actually, and I'm sure he will, he'll take it a moment to reflect on it. But will it be visible that he's reflecting on it? And uh, one lineup thing. You didn't really have a full lineup together during the spring at all. So how much of the playing around with it is just because you have a lot of new pieces and you really don't know how they fit? Uh, well, I think we thought that. We knew what our lineup was, but when Tex went down, it um, it's changed a little bit. You know, when you when someone gets hurt, you have to adjust a little bit. If Tex wouldn't have got hurt, we probably would have ran up pretty much the same lineup every day. But with him getting hurt, we have to change things a little bit. Mike, Joe, you were a veteran when he was a rookie. Do you remember your impressions of him that year, and has he? Has his career progressed along the way that you thought it would when you first saw him in your first impressions? I was amazed at how relaxed he was at such a young age as a player. Uh, I, I don't know if you can ever imagine that someone's going to get over 3,000 hits when you first see him. Uh, but I knew he was very talented and that he would be a very, very good player uh, when, you, when I first watched him in 96. And, and as I talked about how relaxed he was, it, it never seemed like the moment affected him, no matter what the situation was, if it was in the World Series or it was opening day or, you know, the day before the All-Star break, he was always the same kid. And he's pretty much remained that his whole career. Back to your left, Natalie. Joe, two questions. One, you said in spring training that you didn't see Cervelli in any kind of personal catcher situation. Has that changed at all? No. And two, um, Ivan Nova, how big of a year is this for him to finally establish himself in the rotation? Well, obviously, we think he's got the talent and, and the stuff to have a big year. Um, and it's important if we want to get to where we want to get to. But that's important for all of our starters to have a good year because you're going to need to win a lot of games in our division to, uh, you know, to win a division and to move on. But 
We believe he has the stuff to have a big year. Dave. Joe, does it, uh, the way Derek's taking the ball to right field now, is starting to look like he's swinging with more authority and like the Derek that you're used to? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we talked about it in spring training, the end of spring training, that we thought his timing was getting better. And, uh, you know, he felt it took a little bit longer than maybe a, a normal spring. But he has to, you know, he had forgotten that he hadn't played really in a year and a half. Uh, and, and he is looking more like what we're used to seeing. He's driving the ball to right field and, uh, and even his last at bat. You know, it, it was a very good at bat. Uh, so we think he's going in the right direction. You're going to see the Derek. Meredith. Joe, I know it's still early, but is Mark Scherer still scheduled to have the MRI today? Or it was at 10 o'clock today. Okay. Who else? Jack and Andrew. Joe, I know you mentioned, obviously, how today is a special day, but do you think that in game 13, home game 13, that Derek Jeter walks up to the plate, that that standing ovation is still going to be there? Do you think this will be a season-long love fest at home? I Oh, I definitely think so. I don't know if it would game 13 he'll get a standing ovation um, the first time he walks up, but I think it will be a love fest, an appreciation fest, um, people trying to soak it all in, uh, kind of like they did with Mo went through and Jorge went through, and obviously the, and I've said these guys have meant a ton to this organization. Andrew, to your left, Joe. Joe, do you feel like Derek sets the tone for your clubhouse and how your team goes about it? And if so, how is that different this year compared to last year for your club? Well, I think he's a big part of it. But I think with so many veterans, um, you know, he's not the only one that really sets the tone. Uh, last year, we were missing so many guys. It was just compl it was completely different. Uh, it's, it's, it's not some a year that I've been – ever through before it, it really any level as a player or a coach a manager so last year I, I don't know if you can really compare it to anything right here in the front where um joe you mentioned derrick's heading in the right direction how, how different would this be if he wasn't producing this season and in this entire you know love fest and all that how important is it how, how much does it change if he is producing he returns to who he is I think that people are going to show him the appreciation no matter what happens, uh, just because of what he's meant. You know, and you think about the rings that he has and the MVPs during the World Series and All-Star Games and everything that he's done uh, in, a, in a Yankee uniform and the way he's played the game. So I don't think his statistics are going to um, have an, a very big impact on how people show their appreciation. Now, his statistics might have a huge impact on people letting him go away after this year, in a sense, because, you know, if he has a season like we think he's capable of, people are going to say, why aren't you continuing to play? Brendan, take a couple more. Hey, Joe, Solarte's knee was wrapped pretty heavily last night. Do you yeah. see that affecting him at all today? No, no, no. Um, it was wrapped heavily the night before, too. It's just a compression wrap. Um, the players get to keep swelling out. 